This Smart Tweezers tutorial video is about how to connect to your mobile app using your new ST5S Bluetooth model. To begin, we must first enable the Bluetooth connectivity on our device. We do this by clicking the central menu button to enter the menu. We scroll down to system, click enter, scroll all the way down to Bluetooth, click enter, and scroll to on, and click enter. The Bluetooth symbol on the screen indicates that we have successfully enabled the connection for Bluetooth. For any reason, if you wish to restart the Bluetooth connectivity, click the menu button once again, scroll to system, click enter, scroll all the way down to Bluetooth, press enter, and scroll to restart. Press enter. We can now begin using our mobile app. Now that we have enabled the Bluetooth connectivity on our device, we can begin using our mobile app. As you can see here, we have two Smart Tweezers ST5S Bluetooth models that have the Bluetooth connectivity enabled and are ready to go. We also have a mobile with the Smart Tweezers app already installed. Finally, we have two electronic components that we will be using to measure today. To begin using the Smart Tweezers mobile application, simply press on it from your home screen. We see it take us to the initial loading screen, as well as the application scanning for devices within range. The app has identified two devices, device A and device B. Let's say we wish to begin our component measurements using device A. Simply press on it, and we see it connect to device A. As I pick up device A and the electronic component we will be using today, we will see that the measurements taken by the device are identical to the ones showing up on our mobile screen. We can also begin to log our measurements by clicking the record button. We can pause our logging by clicking the record button once again. We can restart it by clicking the pause button. And we can stop it once we are satisfied with our measurements by clicking the stop button. Now let's say for our next measurements, we wish to use device B and the next electronic component. As we click connect again, we can choose to select device B for our new connection. The Smart Tweezers mobile app can connect to a numerous amount of devices. As we cl click on device B, the application will prompt us whether or not we want to stop our existing connection. Click OK. Now we see the application connected to device B. As I hold up device B and the next electronic component, you can once again see that the measurements being taken are identical to the ones showing up on our application screen. Once again, we can choose to start logging our measurements by clicking the record button, pause our logging, by clicking it once again, restart by clicking the pause button, and once we are satisfied with our recordings, we can click the stop button. By clicking the file button at the bottom of the screen, you can see the two files that we have recorded today. We can choose to delete a file by clicking the remove button, click OK, and we can also choose to rename a file to make it easier for us to identify which file was which. We can also choose to share a file by clicking the share icon, where we can choose to share it through a numerous amount of ways.